Hi everyone, my name is Luke and this is my channel. Um, and we're talking about different trade paperbacks, such as the one I'm discussing today, which is Batman Arkham Reborn. Sort of a standalone uh, mini series that was then collected into a trade, talking about um, uh, Jeremiah Arkham, cousin of uh, Amadeus Arkham, and basically his, his um, uh, the way that he uh, plans on running this famous asylum for the criminally insane. Um, of course, if you've read Grant Morrison's Arkham Asylum, you know that this can be um, very fertile ground for some uh, dark uh, psychological um, stories. But this series was a little disappointing. Um, I wasn't sure what I was expecting going in, but the art by Jeremy Hahn, you know, wasn't really my favorite. Um, I much prefer Dave McKean's art in the in the uh, the uh, Grant Morrison uh, Arkham Asylum, but I'm going to stop talking about that one because that's not what the review is on. But basically, um, the plot is that someone is sabotaging Jeremiah Arkham's efforts to um, reform the asylum and is basically trying to get all the inmates out of the asylum. Basically, and we find out the one find out that one of Batman's um, uh, biggest um, villains, at least in um, in recent years is, is behind it and we and um, I won't spoil that if you're curious about it because basically the story reads well it kind of kind of tapers off at the end with with, with the introduction of, of um, sort of Gotham's financial um, not financial districts but sort of the sort of the banks and the corporations in Gotham and how the perpetrator of the of all the uh, the, the shenanigans uh, plans on manipulating those. It's convoluted, and I'm trying to recall exactly how it ties in, but it's pretty sloppy. And the actual reveal of who the the villain is. I mean, I like the villain, but it turns out to be someone who is a little disappointing when you when you consider it, and it's a bit of a cop out. Um, and if if you've already read this, you know you know what I'm what I'm talking about. Basically, um, you know things that you think are real aren't. I, I, I'm kind of hesitant on spoiling it because um, I don't like that when I go on uh, YouTube to check out comic reviews. So um, I won't do that here. But basically, if you are a big Batman fan, you have to read everything related to Batman in any way. Then um, I would say. Yeah, you can read it, I guess. I mean, I got it from my local library, so it isn't like it's out of print or anything like that that I know of. Um, it was all right, but, you know, the, the way they they, uh, they characterized, you know, a character like, you know, Killer Croc, for instance, where he was joking around and not really as sort of sort of scary as he was. Actually, wait, did I say Killer Croc? I meant uh, Clayface. Never mind. Um, but actually, speaking of, of uh, Clayface, I have a really good... Uh, really good story arc to balance sort of disappointing af um, aspect of this of this story. It's called the Mud Pack, and it ran I want to say the late '80s among the various Batman books. Um, and so I will reread those and hopefully have that video up um, sometime later this week or, or maybe next week, just to sort of give you um, give you a better story to uh, check out. Hopefully. I'll give Batman Arkham Reborn probably about two out of five stars. It it reads well for most of it, but then it starts getting convoluted, and then um, you know the art really really doesn't do any favors. I mean, there's some good some good covers by Cliff Chang in there. I don't know why he couldn't have done it. Um, I much prefer what I've seen of, of, uh, about his art, but um, all told, you know, this is going to be you know something for hardcore Batman fans only. If you're only mildly interested in Batman or if you only want to read the best stuff definitely give this a uh, skip um, yeah so that's uh, Arkham Reborn I don't know how often I, I'm going to um, you know, update the, this channel with uh, trade reviews because I, I already read a lot, a lot of trades and if you can see right there a lot of trades that I've read and other ones that I've bought but haven't had the chance to actually sit down and, and read so Hopefully, I'll, I'll be um, updating this channel a lot more with um, reviews of trades because I always find it kind of frustrating when I 
curious about a series about a particular character or some aspect of comics and I don't I I can't find anything it's it's just you know no results or something totally different so uh hopefully I'm remedying this uh situation where if someone's interested in a series and they plug it into YouTube see if there are any reviews hopefully they'll come across mine and find them find them useful so leave a comment um let me know what you thought of Arkham Reborn if you've already read it uh you can subscribe to this channel also leave leave some requests if you have uh, particular um, particular trades or series that you're interested in that, that you want me to consider. Um, I do have quite the backlog of stuff that I haven't read yet, both in floppies and in trades, so I'll try and read, uh, do a, a lot of that, particularly floppies that um, have, not, have never been collected. That's something that I've been trying to stock up on, as well as these trades that I showed you here.